Under Animation, create a Blend Space 1D. Select the skeleton it will use. Give the blend axis a name. Give the range a max value. Drag and drop your idle, walk, and run animations onto the blend space. Test the blending by dragging a little diamond. Under Animation, create an animation blueprint. Make the parent anim instance. Select your character skeleton. Give it a distinguishing name. Go to the event graph. Get the pawn owner and make sure it's still valid. Get the movement component, then the velocity, and save the velocity's length in a speed variable. Go to the anim graph. Create an animation state machine. Create a state, call it idle walk run. Drag your blend space from the asset browser onto the graph. Plug the speed variable we saved in the anim tick into the blend space. Hook up the output animation pose. Back out of the state machine. Hook up all the outputs. Compile and test your blend space works by dragging the speed. Hit edit and then project settings. Click input. Make sure your input looks something like this. Move forward and move right to move. Turn and look up to move the camera. Create a pawn blueprint class of type character. Click the mesh, set the skeletal mesh. Also set the animation blueprint on the mesh. Move the mesh in the capsule component and rotate it to match the arrow component. Add a springy arm component to hold the camera. Add a camera component. Make sure the camera is a child of the springy arm. Adjust the spring arm position. Tell the spring arm to move with the view control rotation. Tell the character not to turn with the camera. Tell the movement component to rotate towards the di movement direction. Optionally, switch your max acceleration to something small like 200 so we can see him walk then run. Go to the blueprint event graph. Create an event for input move forward and create an event for input move right. Get the controller rotation. Break the rotator to get the yaw. Make a new rotator from just the yaw. Get the forward vector and the right vector from this rotator. For the move forward, add some movement input in the forward direction. For the move right, add some movement input in the right direction. Don't forget to hook up the axis value into the scales. Create an event input turn and input look up for mouse turning. For turn, add some controller yaw input. For look up, add some pitch input. Multiply by negative one to keep it from being inverted. For gamepad look, Create an event for your input turn rate and input lookup rate. Add some control yaw for turn. Add some control pitch for lookup. Get the world delta time and multiply it by the axis. Add another pin for look sensitivity. Drag off of it and promote it to a variable. Name it gamepad sensitivity and set its value to 100. Repeat this for lookup. Create a blueprint class with the parent game mode base. Open it up and set the default pawn class to your character pawn. Then go into your settings, world settings, and then set your game mode override to the new game mode. Press play and test out your character.